today on Singles Court. Nosy Paula is prying and crying. I open up the medicine cabinet and a thousand marbles come flying out at me. There wasn't even a And Charlene decided to dupe the Snoop. I did this so that you would finally feel how I feel. Now Snoopy is in the doghouse. She should be apologizing to me. And Annie says three's a crowd, or is it? He insists on bringing his friend Fred every time we go out. She's sick and tired of sharing her man. He brings this crazy sexual tension. Fun-loving Fred makes her see red. Fred leaned over and licked that's my ear. That's his way of saying Stuck that he's one of the guys. Stuck his tongue in my ear. there and welcome to Singles Court, the number one show on the Singles Broadcast Network as rated by me, the show's producer. But please put your hands in the air, wave them like you just don't care for the host of the show, relationship mediator Angela Siegel. You're still in that club mode. I was, you know, well, I just got here to the studio in time for the show today, so <laughs> let's get it on. Well, good thing. I hope you stopped at the shower. All right. I hope you have your squirt gun ready because in the studio today we've got a bit of a cat fight. Please meet Paula in the blue corner Hi. and Charlene in the green. Hi. They have been friends for about 10 years. However, recently Charlene played a nasty little trick on her friend Paula, but she claims it was to teach Paula a lesson about snooping. So I call this the case of the friend who lost her marbles or Snoop Caddy Cat. <laughs> oh my God. Well, Charlene, it seems as though you all have a problem with some marbles. What happened? Uh, can I say it first? Sure, it's school. Okay, um, first of all, we've been friends for 10 years. We're, we're pretty close, Just that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah, anyway, um, so she threw a dinner party for me. It was sort of like a blind date because the guy that works with her, Enzo, is really cute. At the me. restaurant. Right? Yeah. yeah. And so, anyway, I, I really wanted to go out with them. I hate blind dates. I wasn't even comfortable doing this, but... Well, I like the dinner party idea. That's cool. Yeah. I, I recommend oh, no, it was that. Really That's a nice. good idea. Yeah. No, no, it was fine. And, and she even had people there that we knew and, the, like, friends of ours and everything. So it was going really well. He, we were hitting it off and we were talking and everything was great. Um, and then I went to go to the washroom and I noticed that I had like some dry skin and okay, I Okay, so right now, I, this is so typical of already she's making an excuse of what she does. Yeah. It's just that no, I, I, had I hardly skin. even believe you when you say this. She goes yeah. to the bathroom and she looks in my medicine cabinet because that's what she does yeah. every no, time she wait, comes okay, to my house. Okay, you know what, I was talking first. I'll just tell all you right. something about the medicine cabinet. First Please of all, do. we have been friends for a lot of years and mm -hmm. I, I, I assume she had some cream in her medicine. It's not because I think that there's going to be some sort of secret in her medicine no, cabinet. It's not that is that she'll look through everything my closets my medic no. everything anyway she has no so respect. I open up the medicine cabinet to get the cream and um but I mean wait a minute tell me like let's back up okay because okay. I just want to understand your motivation you're in the bathroom yeah but I but I had like dry skin I thought okay so what? I, I want to make an, a good impression on Enzo so I don't want to have like have crazy you, dry news feeling flash skin. like have you ever heard of like a little bag you carry with you. With I know, I know, I know. I think I did very much. Done this. We've been I've friends. done this and watched. Well, yeah, this is right. You've also been wrong a lot. <laughs> no, but he's, I, anyway, but it's true, like, we've been friends forever. She's like my sister. I mean, I didn't think I'd have to bring my purse and do all that. It was just the bathroom. No, it's I didn't even you know, know that you can always go into my medicine cabinet because you do that all the time because you yeah. have no respect for my boundaries. Yeah, whatever. No, it's not that at all. I didn't even, well, think, I didn't know I had, anyway, so I opened up the medicine cabinet. Because I will tell you that just even before I get to my resolution that I'm not feeling the idea of you going in somebody else's medicine cabinet. I don't think that's cool at all. Yeah, but so even if ahead. she's like a good I friend. don't care if there's, if it's a life-threatening situation, yes. Anything short of that, no. But go ahead. Okay, so I open up the medicine cabinet and, I don't know, a thousand marbles come flying well, out at there me. There wasn't even a thousand. Yeah, no, it was tons. <laughs> she had, no, that's it was good. so humiliating. <laughs> She had um, a marble floor. It all came bouncing out, made a huge noise. I went back to the dinner table. Everyone was laughing at me. Well, and I don't blame them. That's funny. <laughs> Thank that you is very funny. much. Thank well, you very much. And Enzo never talked to me for the rest of the night. Well, like, and, I think and he, a... nor should he, because the point is, is you can meet as many gorgeous Italian guys as you want to See, meet. See, this is what she does. She, she gets all no, about... No, no. I, I, what I'm what trying to say is, is, I did this so that you would finally feel humiliated. how I feel most it of my life, funny. or how I felt most of my life for the 10 years of our friendship. 
friendship. Yeah. I mean, it would have been you're... funny if I didn't want to impress. Well, um, you know what though? And... I mean, I will say this. Okay, obviously you were humiliated. I was. That part's not funny, but you do understand that. When you go, when you when you take it upon yourself to open any private, whether it's somebody's purse, and it's not, it's not even but, the, but point, the point. The point is, is it, for no, ten years. Understand. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The, the, the for ten years, I have had to go through this. Where you not only do you not respect my boundaries, you'll go into really my closet, too. you'll go into no, my drawers, no, but my, I, my, yeah, you'll okay. go into she my lingerie like clothes. You, I never go. You into have her looked through my letters. I believe she's looked through my journal. She has absolutely no sense of someone's privacy at all. And for ten. Years, Sorry, I we get the message. Yeah, okay. I never went the to the Academy Internet Award Journal. goes to. Okay, we get the message. Yeah, she's very dramatic, and not only that, I've never no, gone through her exactly lingerie. I've never gone through her journals. Like this that's is ridiculous. Okay, she, but well, I, now she's just out and out lying. She is actually. I have been. We we were preparing for a party once, oh. and I'm in the other room getting dressed, and I come back in, and she's listening to my messages. Okay, okay. These, you know what? You always privacy. make such a big deal. She takes. She, Forever no, to get ready. Answer the, answer, okay, answer that. So, this is exactly no, why I did you know this. What? I didn't ask why. Okay. Let's just find out if. Okay. Okay. So she's she's getting ready. Yeah. Her answering machine it is was on. blinking. Yeah, I can oh. see that she had a message. Okay. And so let's, she let's, let's, let's no... get to some Charlene. Let's get to some key words here. She had a message. Yeah. So tell me where you. I was in. in the kitchen. I saw the message. She's getting ready. She's taking six hours, and I didn't. And I, I didn't take six hours. Honestly, to get I ready. thought. I, no, I thought I was doing you a favor. I li I said, okay, fine. This I'll is just what you say message, every time. I this, this, listen to that. I thought I I was doing you a favor. Charlene. Yeah. Charlene. At least let me hear what she has right. to say. Oh, I she does this you. all the time. It I mean, doesn't really, matter. it's like I Academy know. Award goes to. Oh, she's the most dramatic person I've ever met. And, and but again, however, that's... you give her a reason to be dr to be yes, a drama. Yes, thank you very okay, much. I know, but I was trying to be her best. I wasn't doing it to be malicious. I've heard this so many times. I wasn't trying to be malicious. Let me ask. Let, let me ask a straight question. Did you or did you not listen to the messages on her answering machine? I did. Yeah. Okay. Well, then you know. I don't think. Yeah. What? Who cares why? But it. I know, but it wasn't for me to listen to see who but was calling her. But you did. Who cares why? Why else would you would do you, If it? you open her mail, which is against the law, it's a federal yeah. offense. I would never open her mail. Oh, I never that's, ever is that, her that's mail. where you draw the well, line. Well, but, but the thing there is, have if been, she was at my place. There's been mail open in my front Okay, so I haven't opened her have, mail. You know what? It's pedicure. Listen to you all. Pedicure sounding real good. Okay? So we know we have an issue with the fact that she doesn't respect your privacy. Okay? We know that. Yeah. What else? Well, it goes it goes beyond that. She's I mean, she's looked she's she looks through my cupboards, she I looks through my you, lingerie. You know I, I always think you read this, you, you I'm sure you've you read my journal. Such a big deal. But I've it's never not read only that, it's that life. when I try to confront her about it, she makes me feel like I'm dramatic, that I'm overreacting, okay, that I'm anal, that I'm obsessive, and I start to believe her. But, and she doesn't there's okay. no way to get through it. We're still to her. in we're still in the same box. We've not left that box. Okay, right, let's yeah. get out of that box and talk about what else is going on. I know you're mad about the marble thing. I think she should apologize to me. Like we're best, like no. we're friends. Again, and I think that anyway. Me. So I feel like she hasn't even experienced. She hasn't even had the lesson now because she's still. She st she should be apologizing to me I for ten years wait, wait a minute, of something. abusing my like my boundaries. I'm telling you, Michael, call my girl. I think I'm getting a pedicure. You want me set up an appointment. I'm telling you. I need to know, no, there was something that you, originally that you had said about her going in through your things, going through your private things. What else has she gone through? You talked already about a lot of the things, you know, we've already heard. What else? Because if there's nothing else, we can end it now. All right, okay. So for about five years, I've been very interested Just in this. Just keep in mind five years because. I have been very interested in a man and she knows about it. And yes, yeah. I've dated other people, but this person is very important to me. Oh, you know what? And he's very shy. She doesn't even talk to him. He's a wine she merchant even at our, at our, in our restaurant. Yes, we have oh. a relationship oh. over email. What? Else. All right. So what did she we, do? We have a relationship over an email, and I've got to explain that it's cliff it's, notes. Okay. I was helping. So her. she was not helping me. So he is very shy and timid. So we're slowly in the last month finally getting more intimate. We're talking over the email, but he hasn't asked me out on a date because he's been burnt before. See how she does this? Anyways, she goes on and on so and, and it's the only thing that I look forward to, and I, he's. He, it's very romantic. He anyway, goes to Europe all the long. time, and I. Uh, as anyway, so I come home God. one day, and I see on my email, and I'm looking forward to thinking maybe he's gonna finally, uh, finally ask me out Five on a date. Years and this. on my email it says, "Get psychological help and leave me alone." You know what? So this is what I. So I you looked know, at. I'm coming to my resolution. You know why? The credits will be rolling by the time you're finished. All right. That's it. I'll be back.
want to make sure I understand you correctly. What is the problem with the email? The point is, is that I found out that she sent an email on my behalf and it said, Dear Philip, I want to marry you and have your children. And this to a man who is afraid of intimacy I was helping her. and ruining my chances ever of having any kind of relationship with this man. Okay, time for my resolution because basically that's just the same pattern that's been happening anyway. Paula, your idea of help is flat out snooping. It's wrong, it's an invasion of privacy. You're not helping anybody but yourself to find out more information. You're a no nosy. You have no respect for anybody else's privacy but your own. And you need to really realize one day you're going to do that to somebody and they're going to flatten you. Yeah. They're not going to think it's very cute. Charlene, you on the other hand, I mean, really, save the drama for your mama. It's just, you know, it's very easy. Make an ultimatum. You say either you stop snooping or we're not friends. This is not rocket science here. Your friends are supposed to share. I understand that. But they're not supposed to share beyond the bond boundaries of privacy. You have to remember, Paul, the next time you get that urge to snoop and put your nose where it doesn't belong, remember that what happens when you snoop is that you violate something you didn't even earn, which is trust. So I suggest next time you keep your nose where it belongs, right on your face. And that's that in black and white. Next on Singles Court, Annie says three's a crowd. He insists on bringing his friend Fred every time we go out. Fun-loving Fred makes her see red. Fred leaned over and licked that's my ear. That's his way of saying that he's one of the guys. Stuck his tongue in my ear. That's now that's so his way Explain to me the part about what's fun, because I haven't laughed yet. And Singles Court is back. With, of course, the Pam Greer of personal relationships. Angela Siegel. <laughs> I'm going to give you the shaft. I am not Pam Greer. <laughs> okay. Uh, we could make puns all day, but yes, we have to actually do some work. Let's do that. So in our studio today, we have two singles. Please meet Joe, who is a practicing mixologist, which in layman's terms means he's a bartender, and right. Annie, who's a legal secretary. Uh, the two have been dating for about a month now, and it was going all right, except Annie noticed one little hitch. It's... Joe's friend, Fred, who's always there. So I call this the case of the three-way split. Hmm. Well, Andy, let's start with you. It sounds as though there's a third wheel yes. hanging around. Yes. What seems to be the problem? Well, Joe and I have been dating for about a month now, and it's... it's Six it's, weeks, yeah. It's yeah. A month now, and uh, it's been going well. And uh, just casual, you know, a few dates, movies. The problem is he insists on bringing his friend, Fred, every time we, we go out. Not every right. time, Annie. No, just be a there second. Every time. It's, it's not dinner for two, it's dinner for three, because Fred is there. And Every time? Every not every time, he hasn't been there every time, okay, Annie, he come missed, on. He, he missed one time, and we were playing basketball, and even then he called so to then say, what are you talking sorry, about every time I couldn't then, make Annie? it. Okay, so Joe, tell me, like, why is Fred there all the time? He's my, he's my best friend, you know what I mean? Okay. I'm, I don't want to start the relationship off on a serious note. Which we haven't, you know, it's I been wanna... casual. Wait a minute, explain this to me. So. Is it a date or is it, a, is it like a casual friendship? Are you dating her? Well, or? for the first time, I want to meet a girl and get to know her as a friend. So I thought she'd Would enjoy you? meeting my other friends also, I too. I have enjoyed meeting okay. your other friends, but just not every single time we go out on a date. Like, it hasn't been I'm every single him. time. I just like you just said, there was that one time what? he didn't show Joe. up. That's not unusual. I mean, if you ask someone on a date, I could see with friends the first time until you get yeah. to know. But it depends. I mean, what, is, what are your feelings towards her? Mm -hmm. I, li I like her. I like her a lot, actually. Like her as in like her I, like I, I like, like Michael? What? Yeah. Like no. her in like... More than that, I want to get to know her, but I want to get to know her as a friend. See, in the past, I've started off relationships, and they've, led, they've become so serious. So but, okay, so I'm a new person me. in this relationship. Yeah. Explain to me where Fred comes in with you getting to know her. It's kind of like going to the movies to get to know somebody. Well, he breaks the tension. I mean, he's a joker. I mean, he's... But, you he's, know, I'm sorry, Andrew. He, he brings the tension, and that's the thing. No, he brings he this crazy sexual tension You're always laughing at his him. jokes, Andrew. You, an you get Just along with him. Joe, Joe, um, give, me, give me an example. Like, he brings this sexual tension. He like, brings everything buff? that he talks about. He talk, no, he talks about sex all the time. Turns the conversation around to sex. Like, give me an example. Like He'll pick up grapefruits and put them up his shirt and rub them and be like, oh that's yeah, look shtick. at these. That's just a, that's, that, we no, were that, at a, that's a, at a bar. A the, <laughs> no. ha -ha. We were at a bar the other night shtick. and Joe left and went to the washroom. Fred leaned over and licked that's my ear. That's his way of saying that she's one of the guys. in my ear. Now that's his way. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, you're giving me the creeps. He stuck your t his tongue in your in ear, my ear, and that's to his way of showing that he's no, one of the guys. No, it's a little frat yeah. trick we used to do back yeah. in college days. Oh. I mean, it's no big deal. Well, I wouldn't. I'm not in a fraternity. That's the thing. I'm I not... feel you, girl. Thank you. Explain to me the part about what's fun, because I haven't laughed yet. No. 
No, that's just the way. That's just the way he carries on. He feels comfortable with Annie, so he feels he can. By do making that. me feel uncomfortable, he feels comfortable. I don't think and he like, thinks he's making. Why, are you, tight, why are you waiting till now to talk about this? Why are you waiting till now? Because if you felt I have uncomfortable a better question. Along. Remember, I asked the question. I have a better question, Joe. Why is it? Why are you defending him? Mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. defending him. Well, what are you doing? You, well, you said he, he thinks he's funny. He stuck his tongue want, in her ear, and that Annie, made her. I just wanted Annie to get to pressing know up it. against me when we're at a club in a tight space. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't get by. Pressing that's, up against that's, me. That's, that's just it's fun. not just him having fun. It's that's weird. You don't do that. Okay, but and he should have respect. Let's talk about let's talk about the dynamics of your relationship with this okay. person you say you like that you're trying to build a relationship with. She's saying to you, I don't like him. He makes me feel uncomfortable. uncomfortable. But she has so, no but. So now, what do you do? Well, I guess I stop asking him to come out on the dates. Exactly. Yeah. I exactly. I didn't know. I didn't know it bothered her that much. Actually, she's it, been laughing with him. Because I'm. Tr this is your friend. I want to well, have exactly, respect for you. Exactly. If I, you brought a friend, I wouldn't mind. If but, I brought a friend and it was she, if she was licking her ear and rubbing her breasts and pressing up against you, oh, maybe you would like. Well, it. I don't know. It wouldn't bother know. me. I'm not a prude. Well, you're not. You know. The, are you, but what are you doing, Joe? Are you calling her a prude because she doesn't want to be involved? Well, no. In that one of the reasons. One of the reasons. No, but one of the reasons I asked her out in the first place is because I thought she was open-minded. I mean, look at the way she dresses. She's a sexy woman. I mean. What does that have to do with the, to do with the way I, I have dress? a question for you. I have a question for you, Joe. He makes her feel uncomfortable. You defend him. So my question to you is, with respect to your friendship with mm -hmm. Fred, or Frank, or whatever his name is. I mean, tell me what you say to him when he does these things to her. You know what? You know what? I have I, a better. You know what? This is the part where he answers the question. I'm sorry. Unless you're a ventriloquist. I don't. I don't say anything actually, because that's just the way he's always acted. I mean, it's no big deal. He just means that he feels comfortable. He can be himself around her. In can I? Can I show you something? Yeah. Can with, I tell you something about boys, the way the way he's acted? They have odd behavior. Frat boys do, don't they? They they do, and and, and on occasion there's frat exactly, girls. Frat I boys. have something. Oh. Oh. Uh, no. Is that it's all innocent. What is that? Evidence in a bag? Girlfriend, you came oh my prepared. God. I came prepared. I'll put this in the Device tape player and, and dust it for fingerprints. I'm, what's that? Ask me what's that like you don't know what it is. I don't, what I don't is it? Do you want to hear this? What is it? Yeah, sure. Can you, okay. can you play? Here we go. Hi, Annie. I'm Estelle. And I just wanted to say welcome to the team. I love your tease routine. You've definitely got Joe and Fred revved up. And I don't know if you're into women, but I'm available. And if not, I oh. love to watch. <laughs> if things work out, I have friends who swing. Wow. Okay. No, wow. Now, wait a minute. I have a question, Joe. Which pinup of the month is Estelle? <laughs> who is that? Estelle's my ex-girlfriend. He's your ex-girlfriend. Yeah. I don't know how oh, she really? got your number. Maybe he gave her gave her your number. I don't who know. Who gave her my I number? I don't, like I a pimp did, going around no, giving my number? I did not. Even you make, know what? We would like to know what was go what's going on. If you all have it all straightened out, then you can leave her right now. But I'm trying to figure I out what the deal I don't know is. why Estelle called and left that message. Who is Estelle? Estelle's my ex-girlfriend. Okay, and and we about... used to, I guess, swing and use different partners and stuff. And but what swing. Let's let's go over this terminology. We used to, I guess, swing. Does that mean like sitting on a wooden swing? Well, like, well, exper no, experiment. You know, sexually. No, I don't know. What does that mean exactly? Experiment sexually with other partners. With uh, other partners. Which would mean Spread. having like, what is the word, Michael? Menage a trois? Menage a trois. Menage a is the French call it. So this was going to be a surprise to you? Yes. Well, I was going to tell you eventually. Yes. I was going to talk about it eventually. You were going to well, tell yeah, me. Well, yeah, I mean, we're talking oh, about it now. We're thank you. Thank you for your honesty a month later. Oh, sorry, six we're weeks talking, later. No, thank we're, you we're for your honesty. About it now. Uh -oh. I didn't know when to bring we're it up. We're going to resolution. See, this is a... Menage a trois. Au revoir. You know what, sometimes there's more to a relationship than meets the eye. In this case, there's more to a relationship than meets the mind. Mm -hmm. Joe, you tried to be sneaky. You thought you were slick. You did not divulge information to Annie that you should have. And if you're so open and so into experimentation, why you wouldn't just come out and tell her is a mystery to me. And if you think about it, your motivation was probably to try to convert her to have her experiment with you, which sucks, because you can find people that enjoy your type of lifestyle very easily. They're in any major city, you can find them. They're not that hard to find. Mm -hmm. Annie, this is a case of, if it smells rotten, at first whiff, probably is rotten. Mm. And Joe and Fred are both rotten. They had no respect for you as a lady, not from the beginning, and certainly not through even to today. 
You know, if you look at relationships and dating relationships, they should start with a romance period. Sometimes it never ends. In this case, it never started. There was no romance. And since there was no romance, there really was no relationship. And if you think about your lifestyle, Joe, I'm not here to stand in judgment of it, but I tell you what, based on the way you treated Annie, the only swinging I can see you doing is from a tree. Uh. And that's that in black and white. Well, there it is. So what do we learn? When it comes to relationships, being a friend doesn't necessarily mean being a ferret. And if you're looking for action, three isn't always the magic number. Join us next time here at Singles Court, the final word for singles.